In this video, I'm going to show you how you can calculate age given date of birth all within Excel. So the first thing I'm going to do is adjust the width and the height of the columns as well as the font. In the first column, I'm going to put the person's name. In the second column, the date of birth. In the third column, we're going to calculate the age. Now I'm going to do it two ways. So this is going to be the first method. And this is going to be the second method. Now one thing we need is we need the current date. That's going to be very important for our calculations. To get the current date, type in equal today and then open and then close the parentheses. So the current date is September 20th, 2022. Now let's just write up a few names. So we have John, Kelly, Megan, Darren, and Ronald. Let's say John was born on February 5th, 1995. Let's say Kelly is March 18th, 1984. Megan, let's say May 26, 2001. Darren's going to be July 12th, let's say 1973. And for Ronald, we'll say September. Actually, let's make that October 30th. And we'll say 1958. Now first, let's explain how this is going to work. To calculate the age, we need to take the difference between the current date, which is in cell F2, minus the person's date of birth. If we do that, we get a number. Now this number represents the number of days between these two values. So this gives us the person's age in days. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that to convert days to years, we need to divide by the number of days in a year, which is 365. But we're going to use 365.25 because every four years we have a leap year where February doesn't have 28 days, but it has 29 days. And so we get the age. Now, in order to round this number, we need to use the integer function. If you type in equal integer and then highlight this value, it's not going to round it up to 28 because this person, John, is not 28 yet. It's going to round it down. He's 27.6 years old, but if you ask him his age, he's going to say 27. So the formula, the combined formula that we need to use is equal integer function. And then I'm going to open another set of parentheses. We're going to select cell F2, the current date, minus cell B2, the date of birth, and then divide that by 365.25, close parentheses. Now, if we try to drag it, notice that it's not going to work. Here we have cell F2 minus B2, and here we have cell F3 minus B3, but we don't have a current date on cell F3. We have it only on F2. So we need to lock F2. What you could do once you move the cursor on F2 is press F4 and now it's locked. So now we can extend it. So when we look at the next cell, F2 stays the same but B3 changes. B4, B5, B6. So John, he's 27 years old. Kelly is 38. Megan is 21. Darren is 49. Ronald is 63. Now let's talk about the second method that we could use to get the age. We could use a function called year frac. It returns the year fraction representing the number of whole days between the start date and the end date. So let's open the parenthesis. The start date is going to be 
the date of birth. So let's select cell B2, comma, and then we're going to select the end date, which is the current date, F2, and then comma. Now, what is the basis for our calculation? Now, we're not going to use number 0, 2, or 4 because we didn't divide by 360 days. We used 365.25. So we're not going to use number 3. We're going to use 1. That is the actual answer because it's 365.25 days in a year if you take into account the leap year. And as you can see, we have the same value that we have here. The only thing we need to do is use the integer function to round it to a whole number. So to put that together, we're going to type in equal integer and then year frac start date. So that's going to be the date of birth, comma, current date. Now I want to, whoops, let's make sure this is F2. Now I want to lock in the value of F2, so let's press F4, and then comma, and we're going to type in 1, close parentheses. It looks like I have a typo. I need to close the parentheses one more time. Okay, there we go. I opened it here, and it was open here, so I had to close it twice. Now let's extend it so we get the same answer. So those are two common ways in which you can calculate someone's age if you know their date of birth and the current date. So now let's do some formatting. Let's bold what we have here. I'm also going to change the fill color. Let's use a green background there. And here I'm going to use a blue background. And we can add some borders to it. So that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to calculate someone's age using the current date and the person's date of birth in Excel. Thanks for watching.